My name is Jamie, and this is the vlog for January 26, 2021. It's about 9.45 a.m. Uh, kiddos dropped up to school, got my breakfast under my belt, and about ready to start the day. I geared up and started... Oh, I have a message. Not that important. Okay. Sorry. I geared up and started warming up the um, shed because I thought I had a client this morning, and I got my date screwed up, and I do not. So... The shed is getting nice and warm for nobody. It's kind of sad. Um, I would love to go work out right now, but I do have uh, errands I got to do that I have to do without the kid. So I will be diving onto those ASAP. Um, yesterday, I was working on my article for Celebrations Magazine. I do their Disneyland column. And I've been doing it for like, I don't know, 10, 12 years now. Um so this time we decided to, me and the editor decided to do like a retrospective on Disneyland's 50th anniversary because the Magic Kingdom's 50th anniversary is this year. And they were going to do a big celebration, obviously with COVID, that's all way up in the air. Um, and it was a little sad <laughs> um, reading Disneyland's giant 18-month-long um, celebration they did. Um, which included every park around the world getting new attractions. Hong Kong, Disneyland opened. Um, it was a giant um, undertaking to spread that uh, celebration and commemoration around Disney's world parks, Disney's global parks. Um, so, it, and it, you know, it kind of makes sense. Disneyland was the original park. It was the thing that spawned all of these other, um, all these other ideas. Disney World is not going to be that amazing or fantastic. There might be some merchandise leaked out here or there. Um, but COVID has really kind of put a kibosh on anything that involves like big crowds of people gathering. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to touch it up and make it sound as joyful and positive as possible. But I will admit it makes the 50th and World Disney World a little depressing. <laughs> So anyway, I am wearing t-shirts today because it is cold outside. It is like mid thirties and they're talking about maybe snow and rain tomorrow. Yay. Although it hailed in my hometown, it snowed in Los Angeles and it snowed in Tucson, Arizona, not in Western Washington. And it's the end of winter. What the heck? What the heck weather? Get with it. We deserve a snow day. <laughs> <laughs> After all of this quarantine, we deserve a snow day. Anyway, uh, this is a new shirt I got from um, a company called uh, Till Valhalla. And um, they are a, a pro-military company um, that raises money for veterans charities um, regarding mental health and wounded warrior and stuff like that. So this is an anti-suicide shirt. Um right? Anyone ever felt super alone and thought about it? Um, this is not the place to air that grievance. Uh, but I know when I was a kid, a really young kid, I wondered about it when I was in third or fourth grade. I was one of those kids that was bullied really badly and um, thought that I would be doing the world a favor if I wasn't here anymore, because since I seemed to be burdening everyone so much. However, I had amazing parents and um, being adopted and having won the parent lottery on that front, um, I knew that I would make them sad and I couldn't do that to them. So my parents were the reason that I'm still alive. Um, yeah, heavy stuff. But yeah, I would have been one of those third or fourth grade statistics had I probably been with anyone else. Uh, so it was exactly where I was supposed to be with who I was supposed to be with, the way I look at it. Anyway, um, uh, the deployment sadness is starting to leak in a little bit. I can tell with the kiddo because every morning lately, um, my husband's gone to work and I get her ready for school. And she says, sits here and eats breakfast. She says, where's daddy? I say, he's at work, but he'll be home tonight. Um, and she says, uh, I miss him. I really, really miss him. And today, I'm going to tilt this a little, sorry. I had this calendar square that I made for last year out on the table. And so she started saying, I miss him. I want to sing a song about him. Now she doesn't sing songs very often at all. 
So she started singing a little, making up a song and singing it to him and talking about how much she loves him and how much she misses him and stuff. And we're very open with, with our family about what's going to happen. Um, you know, when it's time for him to deploy, we all drive down together and we say goodbye together. Uh, we try to keep it as positive as possible. Uh, cause it's the last time you see each other, possibly you don't want to leave somebody with, you know, look how miserable they are. <laughs> um, so we try to make it as pos positive as we can leave with some laughter if possible. And, you know, we cry a little bit later. We give ourselves about 24 hours. At least I give myself, hence the kid gives herself 24 to 48 hours to do whatever you want. If that's watch TV, if that's eat chocolate, if that's go for a run, whatever, all bets are off. The answer is yes. For those 24 hours. <laughs> um, I find that that helps, um, you know, it just gives you the freedom to process things. And people are like, a day is not long enough. I need a week. Well, if you need a week, then take a week. I have never had the luxury of being able to take that amount of time, um, out of my life, my everyday life. I have clients I have to see, um, even before I worked for myself, when I worked for other people, I got to get back to work. In fact, sometimes getting back into the routine is more therapeutic for me than being off of it for a long period of time. Um, and I'm planning fun things for me and the kiddo to do, um, while he's away. Like, I think we're going to take one of those, uh, hotel days because that was a nice little break for me and for everyone else. And it didn't break the bank. Um, I think we're going to take a hotel day and maybe swing by and pick up like some gourmet pastry macaroons or sandwiches or something and make our own high tea in a hotel room or something like that. I'll let her dress up like a princess or whatever she wants to dress up as and it'll be fun. Um, so things like that, um, that we can do together that my husband really doesn't have any interest in. So, so, um, Let's touch on the health topics, see where I am today. Today, esophagus is pretty good. Yesterday, I started to burn in the back of my throat a little bit. So just a rough day. Um, I'm figuring out how to do like a soft esophageal diet. I'm hoping to hear from my gastroenterologist soon so he can take a peek down my throat and really point us in the right direction. Um, but outside of that, things are looking up to-do list is long, so I'm going to get to it. Um, yeah. So today is January 26th. Pretty nice day outside. Just really cold. Hopefully tomorrow there'll be snow. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. <laughs>